Greetings be to you, the Intrabone. It's been said that absence makes the heart grow fonder, but I'm gonna say that absence makes the face grow handsomer. Welcome to episode 15 of The Handsoming. I'm Van Awesome. Boop. Now, I wasn't gonna talk about the fact that I've been gone for a while, but fact is, it's not just been a while. It's been over three months. Three months is a long time. Three months is enough time to go to China. Three months is enough time to go to China, come back from China, be home for two months, and then to go to Korea, and then come back from there, and then be here for two weeks. That's how long three months is. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because it's very important to what has happened to me in this span of time. Oh my God, Jesus, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh no, I'm okay. For now, I have been gone so long that it's been long enough to break routines. And before I say anything else, let's just go to that weekly Wednesday weigh-in. But before we do that, let me say something else. You may recall the scale that I used in all previous weigh-ins. It's ugly and it's creaky and there's my feet and you hate them and you comment about how you hate them. Good news. I've purchased a new scale by Why Things. It's connected to the cloud, you handsome sons of bees. The B stands for a buzzword. And as a result, you no longer have to look at my big old nasty feet. Weekly. Bi-weekly. Semi-yearly. So let's take a look at the app. Weekly Wednesday weigh-in. Super cloud connected on the web connected style, y'all. All right. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I've got the Why Things app loaded up here. And we're gonna go into weight tracking. So I'm gonna start us off on March 7th, which is about a month after the last video that I made. If you will recall, I weighed in at 350 on my last weigh-in. And I got this scale, I was all excited. About a month later, when I got back from China, I decided to weigh in. I'd put on about five pounds, not so good. So I uh, got with it. Three days later, I was down to my lowest weight ever, which was 349. Now, I was feeling pretty good. At that time, I should have made a video about it, but I didn't. Four days later, <laughs> I was back up to 357. So that's eight pounds in like, four days that's insane and then a couple weeks after that i was all the way up to 362. now i started feeling pretty bad about myself i knew i had to make a video uh i didn't i just kept putting it off i was like i gotta get back down to my original weight before i make a video and oh look at that i got all the way back down to 351 almost back down to my original weight should have made a video <laughs> But I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna wait until I get all the way there. Oh, look at that. April 29th, put on some more pounds. Ooh, May 10th, put on some more pounds. Oh my goodness, back down a little bit, 358. Now, the next day, 367. A Couple days after that, 367. And now today, June 4th, I have gone all the way back up to 368.7 pounds. That is, almost 19 pounds heavier than I was three months ago. Now, this is all very terrible, but if you wanna go in and see some more details, you just swipe to the right. That'll bring up the video button, and that'll actually run a video of me weighing in, complete with shots of my feet. Ha! Oh boy, there they are, and you can see. It is legitimately me at 368.7 pounds. The scale even says my name. And if you're feeling bad about showing people your feet, even though you said you wouldn't, you can go ahead and swipe to the right, hit the kitten apology button. By default, that's gonna go ahead and run the Sergeant Grumble's kitten apology, but if you swipe off to the right and then swipe back to the left, that will load up the soy sauce kitten apology. So it is oddly specific to me and I, I don't quite understand it. Shwee -wee 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 -wee. So, needless to say, I am pretty upset with myself right now, guys. But that's no reason to stop making videos. In fact, it's all the more reason. Sure, I could sit around and beat myself up and hate myself internally, then try and make myself feel better by eating a tasty cream cone. Realize that trying to make myself feel better by eating cream cones is stupid. Beat myself up some more. Run a few times. Feel good. Reward yourself with more cream cones. Now, if you're a big old fat guy like me, you're thinking to yourself, story of my life. I've lost weight, I've gained weight. I've lost weight, I've gained weight. I've lost it, gained it. <sighs> well, I don't want that to be the story of my life. I really don't. The thing that I was not doing was making videos. 
the videos, you guys are what's keeping me accountable. And when I stopped that, I stopped being successful. I know a lot of us, over 300 of us now, are using the Google Plus group, the Handsoming, to keep accountable. And you guys have been awesome, even though I've completely slacked off. Panther knows what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Panther? Oh, gee, when, yeah, when's this video gonna be over? Panther's a real douchebag sometimes. Just freaking wrap it up. What happens now? Oh yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba